pretty town of Bad Homburg, near Frankfurt, where long walks with their dog Pino helped to keep them fit. They say their brother-sister relationship has been a big part of their success. I think it's a, it's a big advantage because um, all the trouble that can, comes up, and there's coming a lot of trouble up, even now, especially when you dance for such a long time together after the training, then everybody can go separate ways. So the next day everything can be good again. When we were small children, we had always arguments, so we're used to this situation. It's like, <laughs> so, I think, always father and sister together. Yeah. Especially when you're so close of age, we're just two years apart from each other. They've been dancing together for ten years since starting lessons at their parents' school in Bad Homburg. Their father was their first teacher. He still gives them advice on their performance, but he was careful not to push them into dancing when they were young. Stop. Yeah. Und jetzt von hier aus mal schön den Rücken bei ihr lassen. Gut. Und jetzt rausgehen und drüber. Jawohl. And then I said, well, either together or not at all. So they decided to dance together. And we're very happy that they decided to do this. We support them wholeheartedly, and of course we're very happy that they're so successful as well. Renata also teaches at the school. She and her husband used to compete at dance events and inspire the young Natasha. I always saw them dancing or having something to do with music. When you're small or a little girl, you like this, always this business around, this makeup and the dresses. And later on, you focus on this dancing, on the material, what you can do, the swing or this thing. Achtung. Lass dich noch mal ganz kurz und geh mit dem Check. Nicht die Seite fallen lassen. We can be very honest. He always knows how we start it, what we need, and he's always with us. So very good for us. Okay, sometimes we have not the same opinion, but we can discuss it. It's very good. Es ist nicht so einfach. Es ist sehr, sehr schwer. It is not that easy. It's very, very difficult, more difficult than I thought it would be. When the children were young and less experienced in dancing, it was easier. But they developed so much that I'm now at a stage where I'm learning a great deal from them as well. If we produce it right, we can produce a big, big swing, and I think that's one of the main characters, for example, in the swing dances, then you can have a good advantage when you're good at this. I think for us, um, we choose more the classic style of dancing, um, rather than a sportive approach, um, so we are, we're not trying to, to run around like crazy. We're trying to be very cla classical and very musical and to portray a good uh, man and woman picture, what I think everybody has in mind when he thinks about dancing or standard dancing. But their parents don't expect their talented children to take over the reins at the dancing school. Sasha and Natasha will not be teaching social dancing to pupils. Instead, they'll be coaching competitors and traveling around the world rather than teaching in a dance school. Our aims are to um, perfectionize our dancing so far that we can do what we want, whatever we want to do. Any music, they heard somebody very wise saying, um, don't try to impress, try to express. And I think that's what we're trying to do. We want to express our feelings to the music and as good as possible.